Yes YouTube, what's going on? I am Bidde and this is an advanced look at the way Sage plays and how to maximise your ability with that. In this video I will give you information about the playstyle needed to use Sage and how players misplay and misuse her abilities. I will give you information on typical site setups and how to counter an attack. But before we get into this video, if you could be so kind as hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on, that way you stay up to date with my content. Also, if you get bored in the week and you've run out of things to watch, head over to twitch.tv slash IamBiddy where I'll be live streaming Valorant. As I said, I will cover three main points. Firstly, the way players misuse Sage, the playstyle that should be used, including some site setups, and finally, how to maximise her abilities. First, let's jump into how players misuse Sage. Sage is a support player. She has a number of abilities which let her lock down one side of the map and has abilities to allow you to give health to your entry fraggers on attacking rounds. People tend to play the opposite way round and use her abilities the wrong way. For example, walling off areas on attack to slow the enemies but using her wall on a defensive round to get aggressive. This is counterproductive on the attack because it effectively blocks your teammates attacking possibilities. While peeking aggressively on defence, this will only give you one kill a lot of the time but will give the attackers three things they need to successfully execute onto a site. Info, a kill and a weakened area on the map also known as a soft spot. Now Sage is the anchor player. The anchor for anyone who doesn't know is a player who is left alone on a bomb site with the goal of holding it for as long as possible by enough time for teammates to rotate. An example of this is on Haven C site. The site really only has two initial entries, given that control of the garage area is a necessity. Teams have been playing a variety of different setups. Typically, we see Sage out towards C alone on every setup. The setups vary between teams, some opting for a 2A, 1B, 1 garage and 1 C. Alternatively, 1A, 2B, 1 garage, 1 C, or 1A, 1B, 2 garage, 1 C. During all of these setups there is one common theme and that is that C is never doubled up by defenders. Now this doesn't mean that Sage has to play the easy site. Sage can quite easily hold the middle of split for example, meaning enemies are forced to attack each site direct instead of from multiple angles. If Sage holds the middle of the map, then teams can set up in this sort of position and easily stop enemy pushers. Now I believe that Sage should be played slowly on both sides of the map. It is imperative that she stays alive to be the biggest help to her team. Defensively, she can lock down one side of the map alone. Slow orbs literally stop any enemy progression, whereas other agents that use visual barriers such as smokes don't entirely stop the push. If things get really aggressive then the wall can be placed down to stop enemy movement and initiate the rotation from teams. Ultimately, the role of Sage is to help teammates. It can be boring, it will be slow, but understandably, Sage ranks as the agent that must be in every team and is the teammate that will win you rounds simply by using utility and nothing else. This has been an advanced look at Sage and how to maximise her abilities, including some site setups. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all of that jazz, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye!